and um, they started seeing me as a threat. So, um, and they started criticizing me, they started doing politics against me, and the same thing applies to you. Here's a lesson I've learned recently uh, about success and about achieving freedom and about having conflict resolution with other people. The reality is that um, many times when you're working in an office where you're working in a team or you're working in a business or um, anything that you do in a society, many times you'll see that you feel start feeling lonely and the reason of that is other people start doing some conspiracy against you. So it can be a office politics, you know what I'm talking about, or it can be, you know, some friends talking bad about you. And for many years I thought that people are criticizing because I'm not like them or I'm, I'm not good, not enough. But here's the thing, they don't do politics against you. Um, I'll phrase it this way. The reason for their conspiracy or politics against you is not because that you are not enough, it's because you are a threat to them. You're a threat to them. So for example, you know, I came from a small background, I didn't have much confidence, didn't have much experience. So when I started out in my career and I started, uh, you know, working on my communication skills, I started being a good speaker, many of the people, many of my colleagues uh, started seeing me as a threat. My manager started seeing me as a threat because he knew that if he did not stop me, I would get his job, his position, very soon I'd get the position upper him without doing any harm to him. I would be progressing fast. So many people started uh, doing you know, politics against me. Same thing happened in my businesses. When I started out on my training business, my first training company called Speak Rise Training Services, um, some people saw me as like, okay, this guy is really, really good in the way he speaks, in the way he presents. Um, by the way, all of that was not natural. I had to learn that right techniques. I had to learn that right techniques um, from the right mentors. And um, they started seeing me as a threat. So, um, and they started criticizing me. They started doing politics against me. And the same thing applies to you in your office. Many of my clients today uh, can recognize that because they see that, Bishal, I can see why people are um, not supporting me. Previously, Bishal, I used to think that they're not supporting me because they don't connect with me. But many times, now they tell me, Vishal, the reason they don't support me many times is because I have become a threat for them. I have done the things that they wanted to do. I am getting uh, much more bigger uh, promotions than they are getting. Um, and I'm getting it with 15 years of experience that they could not get with 28 years of experience. So I'm a threat. I'm a threat to them. It's like the dog, you know, in a small lane, there are five dogs and the sixth dog comes who is more powerful. Now, these five dogs get scared of that sixth dog and because the sixth dog is a threat. So I encourage you to understand it this way um, so that if somebody is criticizing you and doing politics against you or um, not supporting you, it's not probably because you are a bad person, it's probably because you are so good, so powerful that you have become a threat and that's a great success for you i just wanted to remind you of that my name is vishal sarkar always reminding you that public speaking is not about perfection it's all about connection